Well, that was a neat documentary. Um, Rebel, Loretta Vasquez, secret soldier of uh, the Civil War. Um, yeah, well, yeah, that was an interesting story um, about a woman who uh, lost literally everything and went on to become a soldier and a spy in the Civil War. Um, yeah, not an untold story because she wrote a whole book about it that was completely discredited. And um, now I know I'm going to have to find it and read it. Uh, but plenty to talk about uh, both this documentary and uh, this incredible tale. And uh, we'll do that here in a second. But real quick, before we do... Patrick here, just a quick reminder, this is a reaction review to the documentary Equal Means Equal. Now there is a full viewing available as well where you can watch it along with me. Uh, there'll be a link on the screen here for that now and then at the very end as well. Um, but, you know, really I've just finished watching it, so this is my unrehearsed reaction. Um, you know, anything I do forget though, uh, if I do, please make sure to put them in the comments below along with anything you would want to add yourself. And of course, make sure to like and rate and subscribe. But yeah, with that said, let's get started. All right, so Rebel, uh, documentary put out by PBS, uh, 2013. What an interesting and uh, a sad tale. Um, you know, the, the short version is that this is a documentary about uh, a woman who um, had, you know, was born in Cuba uh, to affluent, uh, wealthy um, parents, came to America to get her education and being a proper you know, aristocratic type of woman, and um, civil war breaks out, 1861, and she's in New Orleans, married to a Texan, Texas seceded, so did uh, Louisiana, so uh, she was in the South, officially, and uh, through a series of events, uh, she was pregnant, uh, lost that baby, she had two children, um, lost them to fever, Shortly after, um, lost her husband to a training accident. Uh, he was an officer in the, um, at that time then, Confederate Army. Uh, lost him to an accident. Uh, so she uh, was completely alone without uh, family or fortune or uh, nation, for that matter. Joined the Civil, uh, the Confederacy, the Confederate Army, as one would do when you live in the South, and, um, you know, got, got found out, got injured, got found out, um, was given a second chance, became a spy, like, just this incredible tale, um, and it's, it's really interesting, because what a sensational story, right, um, at the time, completely unbelievable, although there's, uh, they, they show newspaper clippings of the actual, like, news articles of when she was found out, right? So, um, so we have the solid records of the fact that she was absolutely involved as a soldier and officer, for that matter, in the Civil War, and then, uh, you know, she, you know, becomes a spy after that. She is given a second chance. Um, goes up north. Uh, works for the Union Army as a double spy. Like just, just incredible. The war ends. She writes her memoir about her entire life. So you know, childhood, uh, being mother, being soldier, being spy, uh, and then. What do you know? It's completely discredited by uh, a southern gentleman who is just saying, "Nope, this can't. This can't be real. Nope, not didn't happen. Not possible. There's no way a woman was uh, um, ever involved in, you know, as a soldier. Not in my army. That like that type of mentality. And um, you know, it, so the book had was like discredited the moment it came out." but is still in print. So this is, uh, you know, an incredible example of being, um, you know, just wiped away from history, um, attempted to be wiped away from history uh, by the powers that be. And the powers that be, you know, absolutely 
were, uh, you know, the white male, um, you know, people in power in the late 1800s in the South still, um, because they didn't want to tarnish, even though they lost, even though um, they rebelled against the country, seceded, um, all on the grounds of wanting to maintain slavery, which really is just, um, you know, excuse to have m more money. So really the, the root of all evil. Um, but, you know, nevertheless, uh, after all that, they lose very badly. Um, and yet he's still, he's still so protective of the notion of the Confederacy, of the superiority of what their cause was that he completely like destroyed this woman's chance of, uh, you know, a happy ever after, even though at one point she did fight for them because she was a Southern person. That's what you, you know, if you live in America, you're not going to go fight for the Canadians because you live here. You know, she lived in the South, so she fought there. Understandable. Um, but, you know, she did eventually move to the North. Um, many historians are fairly confident, apparently, that uh, she did so not not even so much as a spy, but to defect because she didn't want to be in the South anymore. Um, yeah, just just fascinating. Yeah, just completely wiped away or attempted to be because uh, she gave a, you know, presumably truthful narrative of an experience that they don't want to recognize because it takes away from the masculinity of war or something. Very, it just super freaking weird, but, you know, those kinds of thoughts brought to you by the same people who uh, seceded from the nation because they wanted slaves. So, I mean, not the, not the most, uh, you know, bright or uh, moral, morally guided individuals anyways. So what do you expect? But fortunately, um, as a, you know, the book came out, it exists. There was many copies made at the time, still in print now. And uh, I've never heard of this story. Uh, I did not know there was a, a memoir, um, and I think I'm going to have to find it now because that seems like such a good read, and I hope um, one thing that was really, really cool about this is uh, um, as a documentary, you know, they can dive deeper than just talking about the book itself. They're talking about the woman and the history, um, and a historian at the very end of the documentary um, you know, completely discredited the the one general guy or whatever who um, completely destroyed her book, saying it was fake, because she has she found records of um, the fact that she absolutely was up here um, in the north and absolutely was registered as uh, like an agent with the uh, Union, you know, army as a spy, as a counter spy, I guess. So. Um, as they say nowadays, they have the receipts. We know she was here. We, you know, we know she was working as a, a union spy, not a Confederate anymore. So, um, yeah, as far as it, I mean, that, that just kind of proves it was all real, right? So I do hope, um, you know, I do hope there's a, a version in print that is, the complete version as she gave it, but also, um, you know, adds the real, you know, historical proof and evidence um, of all of this. Because, you know, that'd be cool to have that inclusion just to really bring home the point. Like this, you know, possibly embellished, but uh, the series of events, you know, did take place. Um, I think that'd be really important, you know, just to have that... Um, you know, that little, that little extra anchor, especially because it's like 120 years old at this point, 130, um, 130 year old book, you know, wouldn't be the worst idea to have, you know, citations of this is, you know, proof of this, this is proof of that. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. Really still, still just a sad tale though. Um, as 
incredible as it is, still just you know a very sad tale of an inc- you know an incredible um, an incredible woman who just kept on going, and then uh, she, they said the records ended in 1902, um, and that's it. She and then just disappeared from history. The um, Loretta Vasquez did so. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to seek out this book. Um, and I suggest you do too. Uh, you know, <clears throat> public library or Amazon or or anywhere. Um, you know, little ex- You know, more knowledge is good knowledge. Um, and uh, I'm excited to to find this and read this. So, but uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. It's just it. You know, heartbreaking documentary of inc- an incredible woman with uh, an incredible story. So. Thank you so much for checking this out with me. If you did, um, you know, make sure to, you know, you know, anything I forgot or any of your own comments, please make sure to uh, leave those down there. And uh, yeah, we will see you at the next one. So take care.